Hi and welcome to Makeup Bug Walk. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever. And it's because I've had a, I've had a week, y'all. There's been 10 years in this whole week. You know how it is? Y'all were here. If you're not from America, we're turning it out over here. Okay, so let's, let's, how cute is this little, don't know where I got it, some boutique somewhere. Love it. Okay. I had a friend who sent me a text message today with the most unerving, unnerving, unnerving, unnerving photograph of her eyeball. Here it is. And then she followed it up with another one. And what she said is, I would like to wear some makeup on my eyes. And then we got to talking. So I asked her a few questions about some of the things that she might want to do or not do. Things like how much time do you want to spend doing this and how much money do you want to spend and things like that. So there were a couple of key things that she said. And so I thought, I know, instead of typing this all out via text, I'll just make a video about my recommendations and then she can watch it, so can all of you. So this is my recommendations for a couple of kind of key areas for folks to do super simple, natural looking, I'm gonna say natural-ish looking makeup. And, and the two areas are number one, your eyes, and number two, underneath, your eyes if you have darker circles. And so those are two things that I know a lot about. So I have a couple of things that I've pulled and then I went and brought a couple of things that I don't actually have one of, but I know work really well. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready-ish and show you some of these products that I really like that um, I would use to fill that need, scratch that itch, tickle the pickle. So firstly, eyes. So I thought a little bit about this and this particular person is gorgeous. She needs nothing to be beautiful. But if you wanted to do something simple on your eyes, you don't either don't want to spend a lot of time. You don't have an entire room of your house dedicated to your makeup collection. And I added one more criteria is maybe you don't want to use a brush. Maybe you just use your fingers probably the easiest thing to do is to use a cream shadow. And so I went through kind of my stash here. I have a lot of cream shadows and maybe that's a video I need to do where I swatch all my cream shadows because I have a lot of them because I really like them. But there are several at the drugstore that are very good. And I'm thinking like a one shadow look on your eyes where you put it on your lid, you kind of tap it or uh, you, you rub it. <laughs> blend it out with your fingertips into your crease and go as high as you want. Um, and then you have an eyeshadow look that with the blending out of the finger, sometimes it looks like you have more than one shadow on because of how the product shears out. And you have a gorgeous eye look that you don't need eye primer for. So that's one product that has been eliminated because you're using a cream shadow or you don't need tools for because you're using your fingers and will stay all day. And there are some gorgeous shades. So you can kind of pick one or two up depending on the look you're going for. You can go very, very dark and smoky if you'd like with a dark, dark shade, which the drugstore has lots of, or all the way to the lightest, lightest pearl, champagne, beautiful, glittery gorgeousness that the drugstore has a lot of those too. So let me talk about a couple products that I pulled. One thing that I pulled from my collection is an e.l.f. smudge pot, and this is in Back to Basics. Um, this is something that is a beautiful one shadow look and you can get a pretty um, gold, bronzy gold look out of it. See how it shines in the light 
and when I turn it, it looks brown. This is a beautiful one shadow look, very inexpensive. Elf is sold in many places nowadays. Um, you can definitely get it uh, at Walmart, Target, I believe CVS, not Walgreens in my house. I don't know. I'm just going to say my house. In my state, I don't think Walgreens carries Elf. But it, they also are online and Ulta. So you can find Elf in a lot of places. This is very inexpensive. Like, think like $5 or less. That's a perfect look. Another cream product that is in a lot of places is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. These were very popular a long time ago, and they've remained so with a group of folks. This is VIP, and this color is a light, it's here on my ring finger, it's a light, pretty, peachy color. It's, see, it's not as shiny as the e.l.f., but it's a really pretty, just a peachy look that would be really gorgeous if you have... Uh, darker skin, tan skin, that would be gorgeous. If you're very fair, that peach would be absolutely beautiful on you. So those are two that I already had in my collection. And then today I went and picked up Revlon's answer to the, uh, the old color tattoo. This is the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow. It says built-in brush, metallic. This is in 710 Caramel. So I bought this today because I, I wanted to check real quick what was still available. I mean, I have things in my collection that are no longer available. I know color tattoos are still available. I know that the Elf Smudge Pots still are. So this is the little pot of the Revlon version. Isn't that pretty? So that is the Revlon version. This is in caramel. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. This is a little bit more taupier and cooler. See that? Really, really pretty. This says it has a built-in brush. Let's find that. Let's bend our fingernail back. Let's find the brush. Okay. It slides out. There it is. There's a little tiny brush. I would not necessarily need that. Um, so this is a, this is, this caramel color is gorgeous. So glad I got that. There's that. And then a couple other types of products besides the little tiny pots. Another is a, is a pencil. So this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Crayon in Iced Mocha. This is 617. You can't really see the color. Um, this is a type of product that many, many different brands sell. And it is a cream shadow just in a pencil where you draw it on and then you tap it out. Same principle, just a different medium. Those are fantastic. Lots of colors to choose from. Pretty inexpensive. When these things go on sale, pick up two that you like. These cream eyeshadow sticks, this is not at the drugstore though, but these types of products, hello, why are you coming out, yo? This is from Mally, but same principle. They, they, Some of them are lidded and some of them are just normal pencils. Um, so it, same, same idea, different medium. And then I picked up these two today. I have not tried these before, but I picked these two up from Maybelline. These are the Maybelline Color Strikes. And I have not tried it yet, so let's try it together. Okay, so little thingy here. Does it pop off? Okay, no, it unscrews. Okay, so it unscrews and it has an applicator. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this is a dark taupe here. And then I also picked up another one. This seems to be kind of a matte color. Is this a matte color? There's a little bit, a little bit of sheen. That is in the shade. Oh, yep. This is in the shade Flare. It's a matte. And then this is in the shade Rally. It is a metallic. So if you don't want any shine, you can get a matte. If you do want some shine, you can get a metallic. So let's put Rally down here. Look at that. So yeah, I mean, and I, I picked up colors, I picked out colors because my friend said she wanted natural. So these would be the types of colors that I would select if you're going for a natural look. So let's do, let's do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do my eyes like I would if I was doing this for real, show you how to apply it. And then, then I'll, I'll, I'll do my under eyes as well so that you can see what that looks like. So here they all are. You don't need all of them. Just one will do you. I really like this new Revlon one here. This one right here. It is beautiful. So let's use that. This is the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in Caramel. So let me show you what this looks like when I use it. So I get some on my finger and I'm going to put it on my, my lid, the mobile part of my eye. And I'm going to apply it with my finger. And then I'm just going to tap it and then just slightly smudge it. 
where I want that color to be when my eyes are open. You can apply it with your eye closed and then open up your eye to see where you're actually putting the color. I've got, I've got no more on my finger, just smudging it out a little bit. See how natural that looks? If I wanted to go darker, I pick up a little bit more. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and go on the outside of my eye. Uh, I mean, on the outer corner of my eye. It's a beautiful shimmer. Gosh, it's pretty. And then just tap that out. A one shadow look that if I want to blend even more, I would wipe my finger completely off and then just tap it out. So there's no harsh line between color and your skin color. That's it. Cream shadows are designed to either be worn alone or underneath other shades. So this is a perfect shade that is, you can use, you can build things on top of it. If you have a favorite eyeshadow palette, it can be used as an eye primer, but it can also be, be used by itself. So that's that one. Let's try one of these new Maybelline shadow thingies. One of these and let's actually use both of them i'm going to pretend like i bought them both because i did so you pop it out this is the matte one and the darker one so i'm going to go on the outside of my mobile lid here on the what we call the outer corner out here and i'm going to put a little bit of that with just the applicator and then i'm going to put the metallic one on my lid now i'm mixing a cool and a warm because i don't care how about your rules I think this would look really cool together, and it does. Okay, so I'm gonna put those on. Put a little bit up into the crease so I have something to blend with here. And then just take my finger and blend it out. The pigment stays where I placed it. Where you want the most color, that's where you start by putting your finger down. And where you want the least amount of color, you just blend to that place with your finger. A lot of cream shadows will give you uh, several seconds worth of blending time. They don't set immediately. They take a little bit of time to set down, to dry, so that they don't smear anywhere. And now you're done. Two pretty simple eye looks that are really easy to achieve. These two, I think, were buy one get one 50% off. So, so I got, that's why I picked up two. Uh, and that's a great tip that wait for a sale at the drugstore. And then you can pick up more than one of a, of a shade or a product that you actually like if you want more than one. Some folks will do just fine with just one product and you're good to go. Your lid has a little bit of pizzazz on it. You're looking cute, but it's not overwhelming and it is not, you can't see it from the, from the skies. You don't look like a clown or fill in the blank. These are these colors are designed to to be just that. So these two colors here, the ones that look very dark are what's on this eye. They don't come out that dark whenever I put it on and tap it out. So that's great. Okay. There's eyes. Now, I would follow this up if you like eyeliner, put on eyeliner. If you don't like eyeliner, I would definitely try a mascara and that would complete the, the eye look. Okay. So I put on a little bit of foundation that I just tried out for the first time tonight. I like foundation on my face. If you don't, you don't have to wear it. If you like a little powder, whatever you do. I've quickly run a brow gel through my brows because I also like the way that that looks. And I applied a little bit of mascara. I use the Maybelline Total Temptation. I use a waterproof mascara. Hello. Um, so I use uh, drugstore products. There you go. Not expensive and you can do all kinds of things. I just put one coat of mascara on real quick. And so let's do our under eyes because this was the other issue, um, that I wanted to tell you about that there are many products out in the world for under eye dark circles. And you can tell I have them. I have not put any foundation on here. Um, I left, I leave them free. And if you do wear any foundation, either powder or liquid or not, leave this part of your face, leave the under eye circles without foundation on it. You don't want to cake up material there or product there. If you have under eye lines, which everyone does, but if they're deeper and you know it, it's noticeable, don't put a lot of product there. Just put the things that will do exactly what you need it to do and nothing extra. 
one thing I can tell you for before you put products on your under eyes is to make sure that you've put some sort of moisturizer there. Many brands sell eye creams. Eye creams, for, for the most part, are little tiny tubs of moisturizer that you put on your face. If you can put it on your face, you can put it up underneath your eyes. Don't put it in your eyes, but you need to tap it and, and, and press it in right underneath your eyes, right before you put your makeup on. Um, you can let it sink in. Use I use an eye cream or a moisturizer under my eyes morning and night. I have very dry under eyes and that is how I keep them looking as optimal as they can. So two products that I have because my, my circles will not be covered by regular concealer. There are many good concealers out there, but there's none that are going to cover up and not show some sort of darkness through it or it turns the concealer a gray color. I don't like it. So the thing I have to do first is I have to color correct. I color correct my dark circles, which are a purpley blue color. I color correct those with a pinky or peachy under eye corrector. The one from the drugstore that works fantastic is the Maybelline Age Rewind in, in Brightener. The shade is Brightener. Okay, it is pink and it looks crazy and you think I'm not going to put pink on my face. Yes, you are. And then you're going to cover it up with a concealer that is either your skin tone or one shade lighter than your skin tone. So, oh, this has even got sealing inside the ceiling. Okay, let's see if we can get this off. Hello. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hello. It's white sealed. It's a container and seal. Boy, howdy. Let me get this open, huh? Okay, so this is the Maybelline Age Rewind, um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser, whatever, concealer. Okay, it has a little lid. Keep the lid. Don't throw the lid away. You're going to need it. So this has a sponge on the end. Do not be afraid. You'll twist up and the product will come through the sponge. You'll, you'll twist up for about 16 years. Don't twist up like and not look at it. There it goes. There's a little bit of product right. Hello. Trust. There's a little bit of product there. Okay. So I've got product. Hello. There it goes. So you're going to apply it with this and then you can tap it out with your ring finger. Okay. So I'm going to apply some of that. It is pink. It is not supposed to be skin tone. This is a brightener, not a concealer like that. They have other shades of this in like, you know, fair and tan and all that. You can buy two where you buy the brightener. You can use a wet sponge if you'd like. I was about to, let me use my finger. You can use, you can buy the brightener and a skin tone concealer that you would put over top of the brightener. And so the point of the brightener is to eliminate, to color correct from the opposite side of the color wheel from, you know, your art appreciation class in high school or middle school, from the opposite side of the color wheel to make that a, to neutralize the color that you want to make it not be that color anymore. I don't want my eyes to be purple or blue. So I put a pink or a salmon color, like a peachy color underneath my eyes. Now look. It looks odd because it's slightly pink. I will take care of that, but there goes the darkness. It is gone goodbye. This is a, again, a drugstore product that does an amazing job. I have used up several of these over the course of my lifetime in makeup and they, they have thankfully never discontinued it. It is a product that is always available. It is pretty inexpensive for uh, the amount of good that it does in the world. It's fabulous. There it is. I just tapped it out with my ring finger. If you want to try a cool tool, a beauty sponge that you wet is fabulous. This one came from Target and I think it was like four or five bucks. They have many of them. All it does is just, it's not super wet. You wring it out. So it's not like, it's just damp. We'll put it that way. This bad boy is fabulous. All the darkness is now gone. Now we're going to cover it up with another concealer that is going to brighten even further.
further down there, but it's more of a skin tone color for me. And I picked up a new one because I haven't tried it and I've read reviews and I want to try it. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in 05 Ivory. Okay, this was one that I just don't own. I have a lot of concealers from a lot of different brands and there are many good ones out there. Okay, this one comes in a little tube and I think it has a wand. It does, look at that, little baby wand. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes and we're gonna blend that out over the brightener so that we have a more of a skin tone color not a pinky color that is showing. There are lots of concealers in the drugstore. Every brand has one. You can certainly check out reviews of concealers here on YouTube. And if you have mature skin, if you are um, my age, which is 159 or, you know, 40s, 50s, um, you are, you may be dealing with more under eye issues than someone in their 20s. And so you may want to look for YouTubers who are specifically addressing those same types of issues when they review products. So search for someone uh, who is of a like age or is dealing with the same types of issues that you are. And then you can, you know, see them use the product and, and look and see what they think about the product before you go buy it. Look at that. Look at that. Under eye circles. Who's under eye circles? We ain't got no under eye circles. So that, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta use the right products. Don't use too much. Cause if I was caking on this concealer, it would look horrendous underneath my eyes. If you want to set this with powder, you certainly can. Just like setting the rest of your face with powder. Some people like that, some people don't. If you have very dry skin, don't. If you have very oily skin, you might wanna. But lots of different powders at the drugstore will do the job too. But you will need a color corrector and a concealer if you have the type of darkness that I have underneath your eyes. You will not get that amount of coverage without the color corrector underneath. Okay? So I'm going to really quick pop on, I don't know, some. Uh, the last thing I would do is something for my lips. Let's look here. Do we have something drugstore? We do. Here's a product that I actually really like. It's a L'Oreal product. This is um, the, mm -hmm, it's a Color Riche product, but it's that, that shine one. It comes in this beautiful packaging. This is Coconut Plump. So it's just a nice nude. And I'm going to real quick just put a little bit, just a neutral, a little something. If you wear red lipstick every day, do you, boo? Um, I wear nude lipstick every day and that's pretty. Okay, that's it. I mean, that's it. It's real easy. Eyes, simple. Under eyes, simple. But you got to do the two-step and then you'll be good to go. Beth, I hope you enjoyed it. I miss you, my dear friend. And I hope you have a great time playing with a little bit of makeup. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, hit subscribe. That way you can see all my YouTube videos for free in your subscription feed here. Again, thanks. Have a wonderful night wherever you are. Bye.